It was so bad, it was almost a deal breaker, dude. When using DisplayPort on this monitor and using 25 inch mode, which uses this weird resolution, 2368, like 1330p, every time I would alt tab out of a game, it was like six seconds, dude. It was totally insufferable. It, it was so bad. And just using HDMI fixed it. Just using the HDMI port fixed everything. Oh, it's so much better. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, do, I think I'm going to do a video on this whole setup next because of how well it works. Eliminating all the handshake problems from the RTX 5000 series, all the display port shit. Cause check it out. So my, my 5090 is using HDMI and the A2000 is using HDMI. Look at this. Look at this. I'll, I'll launch the Ascent. Check this out. No handshake problems. I'm going to alt tab. No handshake problems. No stutter. Nothing. Nothing. Alt tab. Nothing. Yeah, use HDMI. If I was using DisplayPort and HDMI on the 5090, I'd have to sit here for like four seconds, but every time I wanted to alt tab, it was driving me fucking crazy, dude. It was driving me nuts. And But if you just use HDMI, it fixes it. Or you have to get the, uh, or you have to get the 5090 Tough or Astral. Yeah, here you go. Here's the Tough. Yeah, you see how it has two HDMIs here? You could use that. Yeah, you could use that. And then you would just mirror the two HDMIs together and that works fine. I, I, I have, um, I have the Zotac, unfortunately, so I can't do that shit. So I have to use the second, but, but then there's also the, um, the added benefit of being able to run physics on my A2000. It, the, the, the thing is, the funny thing is the display stream compression doesn't affect the visual quality when you're playing the game it's only handshaking problems and like handshaking lag like why does it take six fucking seconds for the graphics card to figure out which version of display port it is and like what resolution it's supposed to be at and the scaling and all it's a nightmare dude it's a nightmare now i got this monitor on display port got the capture card on hdmi now there is no A2000 there. Got your course last week. Really enjoying it. Thank you for making it. Fuck yeah, dude. Thank you for picking up the course. Hell yeah, dude. My man. Thank you for supporting the channel. Hopefully you're getting all that mega value out of that course. Look at this handshake. My screen is black too, by the way. There it is. Fuck me, dude. Dude, I can't, it, it literally makes the PC fucking unusable for me, dude. Unusable. And it reset my refresh rate, too. This is like 20 second handshake. This is a gooder. There it is. You saw how fast it was before on HDMI. That's why that's why it's like people trust me so much because the commoner, the common pleb wouldn't notice that. I'm like, bro, if a window lags for a millisecond, I can't stand it. For any gods and legendaries that need an A2000 for their second card, there you go. I'm giving one away. That's fucking nutty. Oh yeah, handshake. That's right. Might as well go make a fucking sandwich while my uh, my graphics card decides to figure out what it wants to do. 
with DisplayPort. It's still handshaking, by the way. It's still handshaking. <laughs> Still handshaking. Did my computer crash? Bro. Maybe I should unplug my display port cable. The screen's just black. Control all delete, nothing. There it is. That was like a 35 second handshake. And y'all wonder why I've been trying so hard to fucking fix this nonsense. That was like 35 seconds, baby. RTX 5090 spent fucking $4,000 Canadian for that shit, dude. It's like $4,000 Canadian. This is a brand new Windows install with the latest fresh brand new driver. And just for reference, this is the driver I'm using. 57652. I'm pretty sure that's the current one. I don't know. I I personally believe that they need to do a firmware update on the display port ports themselves or something or some kind of firmware update on the controllers. Something clear, clearly clearly a driver is not doing it. I just showed the difference live between 2 GP like not not V BIOS, not necessarily V BIOS. I'm not sure if the V BIOS controls the display ports or not. The main reason why I did the whole dual GPU thing was because of the handshaking was driving me fucking crazy. That's why. So like sometimes I would be playing Overwatch and I would accidentally hit the fucking Windows key. Like like the, the Windows key to bring up the start menu. I know I can disable it, but I just never fucking did. And then, yeah, I would literally be playing Overwatch. It's in the middle of a nail biter fucking round. I accidentally mash the Windows key and my shit handshakes for seven seconds and I can't get back into the game. I was losing it, dude. I was fucking losing it. For, so for all the AMD bros out there that are like, well, NVIDIA has driver problems too. Fair enough. This was... The only problem that I've had with the 5000 series is this handshaking shit with this monitor. But I found a solution. I got, I, I got my solution, so I'm good.